bad kitty. Things haven't been going so well, have they? It's fine, though. I'm sure it's gonna work out. You've got me, after all. Doesn't matter who they send after us. It's pointless. When you've got the best, why care about the extras? Those who aren't as good as me. With that said, it's still important we stay moving. Your leg. Did you sprain it? Damn. Some assassin I am. Not even noticing for a while. That are your real strong kitty. To push through all that. I've definitely got some respect for you. Damn. To think I'd be here with you. I still can't believe it. Running from them. The guild I'm still indebted to. I guess you should chase what you're passionate about. Maybe I'll follow you forever. It's not like I'm opposed to the idea, you know. In fact, it sounds quite lovely. Because I can't think of anything better to do now. If I try and return, I'm a dead man. Maybe. Just maybe. The dumb cats over there will accept... This dumb cat right here. No, not you, kitty. Me. You should know better. Once the humans find out, they, they'll cut your ears off. Your tail. They'll make you into some kind of toy. Well, that's the unlucky ones. Honestly, I'd probably just be put to death. What use are they going to have for such a dangerous one? They can't even use me as a pawn. They got nothing to hold over me. Unless they caught you. Shut up. I, it's not like I like you or anything. It's more like I... I don't know what I'd do without you. What do you mean that's the same thing? Then I'm done talking to you. <laughs> Accusing me of nonsense. You think I know what love is like? At this point, I'd question everything. Hey, lay low. Kitty, be careful. You see that caravan over there? That red marking on the side, that's a sworn enemy, the Assassin's Guild. If they saw me, they'd chase us until we die. Our competitors aren't exactly the most agreeable folks out there, so it's important we don't show ourselves publicly. The town of Arland is close. If we go there, keep your eyes peeled. I have a friend. No, I guess friend is stretching it. Someone who owes me a favor. He won't be able to say no to hiding us in the cellar. And he knows damn well. He can't contend with me if he sells me out. I'd get to them. And I'd get to him before... Before they could. Let's go. Enter through here. Safe. Looks like only a few more bounds and we'll be in town, kitty. Keep that wrap tight around your ears. Don't show anyone your tail. If you look normal, just just keep your head down. If anyone wants to mess with us, I'll do the talking, okay? Same here. Never thought these ears would be so in the way, but I guess that's just how it is. Maybe I shouldn't be so. No, we're still in human territory. 
us cat folk have no business. Keep it down. Noi, what brings you to the town? We have some business. We're just an adventuring pair. Oi, look like that to you. Whatever, get in town. Mind yourself, there's been a lot of rumors on your best behavior, or else you do with me, got it? Yeah, let's be off. Wait a minute, haven't I seen you somewhere before? No, you got the wrong guy. Maybe. I'm keeping my eye on you. Better not get caught doing anything. Or I'll have my hands full of your guts. Got it? Loud and clear. <laughs> He's scared. Whatever. Careful. That was far too close. I don't like that guard. Then again, I've killed a few people around him. Chances are he's seen glimpses of me. Just doesn't know it. Poor fellow. Useless. But he could cause us trouble if we're not careful. Mm. Don't worry, kitty. We're almost to the back of the inn. You gotta squeeze through here. <laughs> Mind your foot. I know it must hurt. You're almost there. Once we get there, I might be able to cast a spell. I said might. Don't get your hopes up yet, kitty. Down you go. Watch your step. Take it slowly if you need to. I've got your back. <laughs> as settling as it is to have an assassin having your back... No, I can tell you trust me. I appreciate it. I just wonder about you. What is it that makes you trust me so much? Damn. Every time I think about it, this whole situation this seems so stupid. What are we doing? Yet, at the same time, might be the first time since I can remember that I'm doing something that isn't a contract, that isn't just killing because I need to. It's protecting for once. It feels better than I expected. Not bad, kitty. What are you two doing down here? Long time no see. Amun. No, you've got that right. Could have been longer, though. Now what do I do you for? The usual. We're staying down here. Don't tell anyone or else... Or else you're gonna expose me as a demon. Fine by me. We're both outlaws here. You might as well make yourself at home. There'll be two meals in the morning. Then I want you out. Deal. Yeah. You heard right, Kitty. He's a demon. One that doesn't want people to find out. I'm afraid he doesn't have any real dirty secrets or anything. But he's kind of a nice guy. I'll give him credit where it's due. The only problem I have is, uh, well, he's a dream eater. That's why he runs an inn. They're not malicious, mind you. They'll just prevent you from having dreams when you sleep here. It's good for some people. Because they'll eat nightmares, too. He's a good fellow. Ammon is kind of... Kind of a friend. Just... A friend with lots of strings attached. Us non-humans. We have it rough, don't we? Having to run from them. 
just because there's more, because they deemed it somewhere that we're not blessed by their gods. I hate it. What makes these ears so different? And the ears over there, or over there, we're basically the same. Our differences don't make that much difference, do they? And I guess that's just my idealistic, hopeful, childish side speaking. I'm no stranger to having it backstabbed. Those ideals. Maybe it'll be different now. Maybe just this once I can do something about it. Maybe we can change it. You never know. Maybe I'm a long-lost prince of the kingdom of catfolk. Or maybe there's no kingdom of catfolk. And instead, there's a new race. And they'll hail us as gods. I don't know. I'm no good with speculation. Right. Let's look at that foot of yours. No. Oh, pretty swollen. You tripped on a root, didn't you? But you caught yourself, unfortunately. Put a lot of pressure in the wrong places. I can tell by looking at it. Hey, don't underestimate an assassin's understanding of anatomy. We're basically like doctors. Doctors of death. We surgically remove their life in the most silent, peaceful way possible. Unless paid extra, then we do it gruesomely. Makes me sound like I'm terrible. And again, we're both running from our past, aren't we? Our debts just whisked away by, by the fact that we're running. They'll never stop haunting us until we get there. That's why we need to be careful. They've got some talents. People that would give me a run for my money, let alone if they hire the cult. There's a few of them. The green-haired death. I'd prefer not to run into him. Maybe I could stop him for a minute, but I doubt I could take him in a one-on-one. -on -one. But luckily, it's not likely that we'll ever have to see each other like that. Besides, we're running. They'd have to be real desperate to do that. Then again, with the secrets I know, it might just happen. If it does, promise me, Kitty. You'll run ahead. I'll catch up if I can. You know the direction, and you know where you used to live. Well, I guess in this case, you probably don't. But you're not a slave. You're not indebted there. It's a place where we're normal. Not something out of the ordinary. Something that doesn't belong. Honestly. If this little adventure of ours has taught us anything. We should learn not to just accept. Accept where we are. Make an effort. I mean, what do we have to lose, really? Here. Here. This should help. Esmiakea. Kyon. It'll take a while, since I am not very good with mana. But, bear with it. I'm fine. It's just, it's a little tough to maintain. Trust me, I'm fine. You should worry more about yourself, Kitty. You're the one who's injured, not me. If you think that I can't handle spending a bit of mana, you'd be wrong. <laughs> How long was I out? Ah, looks like your foot's better. That's definitely something, but what's with the lap pillow? You trying to get on my good side, Kitty? Because it might just be working. <laughs> it's comfortable. 
I like it. Just like I like you. Why'd you look away? Look at you, playing coy. So I don't think you're playing. Maybe it just comes naturally to you. So you to hiding yourself when someone actually looks? Does it get you off guard? When I say that you're gorgeous, beautiful, and breathtaking, does it mean you're going to blush more? <laughs> because I wouldn't mind that. You're my kitty now. And I'll be your faithful assassin. You know, the one that hopefully won't be killing anymore. Look, I... I think you softened me up a little too much. Stupid cat. Yeah, so what if I'm a cat too? <sighs> You're always gonna do this, aren't you? Point out the fact that we're the same. Yeah, so what? I was an honorary human. But besides... You're right. It's a contradiction. I shouldn't be ashamed of what I am, but... It's just easy to fall back into bad habits. But I guess when I look at you... When I lay here... See your cute face... Makes me really believe we can be happy, Kitty. Happy together. Enjoying our life. With no one to hunt us down. In a place where we can be equals. Like I said before. Maybe we've got, like... Some kind of fancy backstory. Kidnapped royals or something like that. <laughs> I like to dream, don't you? It helps the harsh reality of things that sometimes comes to pass become less scary. Gets my hopes up too. Makes me feel like I don't have to worry so much. But I guess what makes me the happiest is knowing I'm not undergoing all this journey by myself. All I ever wanted was someone like you. To have someone to call my, my own. It may not seem like it, but I was weak too. I was just as weak, if not weaker than you. And I, I didn't know what else to do. It's funny, isn't it? The weakest of us sometimes end up the strongest. Because we're so afraid of things that we go into a path we never believed in. We end up being monsters in order to forget our weaknesses. I'd like to say I'm not a monster anymore, Kitty. But with how much blood I've shed, I think it'd be unfair to the people I've killed. <laughs> yeah, you might be right there. It wasn't all my fault. Even if I was naive, taken advantage of, it doesn't change the fact that I wasn't the one who ordered those people dead. I was the blade at their throat, not the hand holding it. I wonder, were you ever a blade? Never killed, huh? Impressive. That you managed to survive this long. Kitty. You've been through a lot. But I'm kind of glad you didn't. Leave the dirty business to me. And I'll leave the lap pillows to you. And the looking adorable. And maybe the teasing. Oh, I could think a lot more than that. Don't stop the head pats. I could get used to this. <laughs> what do you take me for? A house cat? That's you, if anyone. What? You don't seem very threatening. 
and your ears are cute. Mm -hmm. Look at that, getting shy again. Not half bad. You know, I could get used to this. Ready to spoil me. Because I'm more than willing to spoil you. I've got a lot in the bank system. Since it's universal and goes by magic, they can't access it. I've always been careful about things like that. So, provided we make it there safe, we can live a life of luxury. They didn't realize. I wasn't exactly holding out on my dad, but the one I had the most to, I may have ended up slipping with a knife and stealing his fortune. Doesn't mean there's not people who will use it as an excuse. It's why I was so high in the Assassin's Guild. After I took a bad job back in the kingdom, you know, the one to the east, I had to kill a prince. I did it, but I got injured. Honestly, the poor fellow was naive. Job's a job, but one of the problems I have with it is it, it was kind of a turning point. I learned what I was doing wasn't right. And the person who ordered it just wanted power, money. Whereas I stopped caring about it. When you live with something like that looming above you, you stop caring about material things to save it for some ungodly reason. But I honestly can't say I will regret it. Sure, it's going to come in handy with getting our ourselves established over there. Have you ever thought of what you want to do for the rest of your life? <laughs> You're simple, aren't you? I don't mean that in a bad way. It adds to your cuteness. It makes me want to kiss you. Maybe I will when you least expect it. <laughs> That's the expression I was looking for. Not bad, my kitty. But you're gonna have to step it up. If you want to compete with me. Your lap pillow gets you some points. But how easy you are to tease. That loses you a few. <laughs> You don't look too disappointed. Maybe a bit sassy. Is that the house cat in you? Because you're dealing with a jaguar. Maybe a tiger. No. I'm king of all those. If I gotta be a cat, I'm gonna be a lion. Don't I seem like a king? <laughs> More like a prince. Well, whatever suits your fancy. You're mine, house cat. Come here. <sighs> your scent. It's nice. Just a bit of fear on you, though. I wonder, is that because you're afraid of me? Afraid of us getting found out? Afraid of my desire for you. How much I want you. What is it? I can't tell the difference right now. So I guess you'll just have to tell me. <laughs> I thought so. Surprised you admitted it. I thought you'd be the type to deny it and say, No, I'm better than that. <laughs> Where you're above such feelings. Good to know you're honest with your heart. I don't have a whole lot to ask of you. But I do have a whole lot to learn. I've never had time or thoughts for something like a relationship. And now to be eloping with you, it's made me realize 
Life can be a lot different than I thought it could. Life can mean something. Something pretty special. Yet here I am. Right with you. Staring into your eyes. And seeing a future. Instead of just the murky, lifeless orbs I usually stare into. Feels good, for once, not to have anything to kill. No kidding. You give me hope that I could actually be normal for once. That all those years can be pushed aside and I can be an actual person instead of a monster. What do you think, Kitty? Do I look more man? Or more monster. <laughs> Your eyes say a little bit of both. And I don't mind that. I'm not going to hide my past. I don't feel like it's a good thing to. In fact, if anything, I'll use it to protect us. Once we get there, I can do something. Maybe do some adventuring. Maybe we both can. Though I think you'd have to learn how to fight. I don't know if it suits you, Kitty. You wanted to be an assassin, but... You had no idea what you were getting into. Well, maybe I can help you, at least for self-defense purposes. Though I'm going to be honest with you. Stealth and striking where the enemy least expects it. That's more my forte. I can do upfront fighting because, because I've had to so many times, but we assassins aren't made for that. We much prefer to kill people in their sleep, stab them in the back. There's no honor for a scoundrel. But I guess that's just the past now. Unless I have to use it anymore. Our journey may take us to places we don't want to go. But we have to pass it. We have to move on. We can't just let them win. All those bastards who want to take us down. We'll have to make sure we survive even if we have to take them out. Here, take this. Consider it a gift for giving me that head pillow and for being my kitty. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know what it does? Well, it's a summoning stone. If you get in trouble, you can throw it. Wherever I'm at, I'll be there. It'll summon me. <laughs> Cocky little one, aren't you? Making me out to be a mere familiar... I'm more like the king of assassins. And what of it? Now, now. Remember, it's a one-time use item. Don't use it comically. Or you may regret it. As the times will be dangerous going forward. Now the real question is... <laughs> why do you have that smile plastered across your face? Because we're really doing it. Yeah, I guess we are. Together. We're here in the moment. You know, it's weird. I guess this is what love feels like. Looking into your eyes showed me something new. Peering into your heart. It's as easy as looking through a glass pane window. And yet still doesn't feel lonely, doesn't feel sad, sitting here beside the burning furnace. I like the crackling of the fire, the nice flame. I like the way it glistens in your eyes when I stare at them. As much as I enjoy the flame, my passion burns in your eyes. Can you see it in mine? 
It's all that burning fire. I'd like to call it something, but I think only love will suffice. It's the feeling in my chest I've never been able to come to a conclusion. Yes, I don't think I've ever felt this way for anyone else, Kitty. You should count yourself lucky. You got one hell of a badass boyfriend. What? Got a problem with me being confident? Strange. I thought the idea of a confident boyfriend was alluring. Sexy. Mm. But you didn't hear that from me. Guess you'll have to worry about that on your own time. Though I guess right now, it's our time. You're my kitty. And I'll be your man. Your badass boyfriend. Your badass. Amazing. And absolutely obsessed. Monster of a boyfriend. What's wrong, kitty? You look shy about it when I hold you. You're just giving me a lap pillow. What's different now? Come closer. Yeah, good kitty. I think you deserve a pet for that. You're obedient. You know. Together. We can't be separated. This pet is just for you. You deserve it, my obedient little kitty. What? You're getting all blushy again. You're redder than the fire in the fireplace. <laughs> well, what's the matter? Look at me. I may be your boyfriend. But when you look at me like that, with the eyes submitting like that, you make me feel more like I'm your master. Like you hang on every word I say. Like you tense up when I call you cute. Oh, what an innocent reaction. <laughs> You're definitely one of a kind, kitty. That kind of one of a kind you find once in your life. That that red string of fate ties you by your pinky finger. By your tail, by your ear, by everything. I'm afraid I'm all tangled up. And you're my figurative ball of yarn. Well, so what if I like things like that? Maybe I'm less afraid because you're here. Maybe I'm not afraid because I like to make you feel shy. And what if I do? What then? What does it actually matter? You matter to me. And that's all I care about. The rest just falls into place. And we'll see it. On our journey. When we wake up in the morning. Everything will make more sense, won't it? <laughs> Good thing morning isn't any time soon. Remember, I did warn you. Kissing you under the stars. Kissing you because I'm a monster. Kissing you because I'm your man. Maybe I've been too much of a hard ass. Not just a badass. I have a lot to learn. All I know is I love you. Way too much. And I regret nothing. 
you're an idiot sometimes. Thinking that I was using you. If I was doing that, you wouldn't be alive right now. In case you didn't know. Us assassins. We're not so good at using people and having them stay alive for very long. <laughs> Though, it's pretty cute. Your reaction, it's just a kiss, isn't it? Yet you're blushing up a storm. Your lips are soft, you know. And I think I might be just a tad addicted. I wonder, is it the monster or the man in me? The boyfriend or the beast? Guess there's only one way to find out. Trial and error. Go ahead. Get near the fire. Warm up, kitty. I'll warm up everything else. <laughs> What's the matter? You seem a little flustered now. You can take a kiss. On your lips, can't you? It's just a kiss. Right. It's nothing more. Right. Look at you. A slave to my touch. Maybe I really am a monster. Or maybe it's better said that I'm a master. You're such an obedient kitty, aren't you? Yes, you are. I want you to say it. Say you're my obedient kitty. Admit it. I'm your master. You hang on every word I say, every feeling I give you. You're so obedient, kitty. Just how I want you to be. Look at you, kitty. Are my kisses that delightful? You seem completely at my mercy. And I love it. It really suits you. Being completely my little toy. Though you know I love you. I have complete control. Do you mind? Little kitty. No, of course you don't. You want your man to take control. To show you how it's done. To be the monster. That loves you so much. The possessive one. And the one that makes you fall so deep in love. There's never any escape. Now, now. It wouldn't be any fun if you didn't try something. Why don't we have a rematch from last time? <sighs> Easy does it. Your master loves you. You're my kitty. Let's 
the matter, kitty? Can't handle your master's call. Or is it that you're getting too embarrassed when it's actually happening? You're mine, and I'll deal with you as I please. Because you seem to like me as your master. Isn't that right, my obedient kitty? Isn't obedience the best way? You being my everything. And I, being your master, deciding all those difficult things with you. No, for you. That's all you need. That's all you could ask for, right, kitty? All I want is for a nice little kitty to not forget their place. It's by my side, in my arms like this, and wherever I damn well please, is I'll take care of you. Do you trust me, kitty? Then you've got nothing to worry about. I'll take care of all this difficult stuff. I'll protect you, and all you gotta do is be happy. Understand that I love you, and that I'll take on the world if it means being a good master to my kitty. I refuse to let anyone, not even a single person, get in our way, our future, our happiness. I'll protect it all until no one can stand in our way. Don't you worry, kitty. I'm going to make sure everything's fine. Because there's no way I'll just let it be a normal, everyday kind of love. I don't do things normally. I'm a monster after all. But at least I'm your monster. I'll always be your monster and your man. No, kitty. Be an obedient kitty. Embrace yourself. Wouldn't want you to pass out now. Look at you, kitty. Always being mine. You act like I can't. I could do anything I want to right now. But what I want most of all is cuddles. Maybe a lap pillow again. We'll see. No. Despite how I may look, how I may act sometimes, I've got a lot of heart that isn't dedicated to things like that. What I want more than anything is for you to feel special, safe, less stressed. I noticed, Kitty, since we've begun our journey, you've looked more and more stressed, afraid. It's probably my own fault, mentioning all those what-if situations and making things all kinds of crazy. I guess I like to prepare for the worst, just in case it does happen. But that's no excuse. I shouldn't have scared you, Kitty. Maybe this puts your mind at ease. My hands brushing through your hair. <laughs> what? I'm just rubbing your scalp is all. You seem to like it. Besides, who cares about the details? We're not just details on a list. We're not just regulars here to go and live the life in oppression. We're adventurers trying to find our home. Long lost lovers. Maybe even star-crossed lovers. But I guess that one will have to figure out at some point. What does it really matter which one we are? We're together, kitty. And that's all that matters to me. I'll protect you. 
I swear on my life, on my name as a professional, not that that's worth too much anymore, but I'm staking everything on you, and if anyone dares to try, I'll stomp them out and carve us a path, a path to get to our homeland. Don't think for a second, Kitty, that I haven't thought this through. I'll be able to protect you, that much is for certain. <laughs> Being cheeky with me, what happened to my obedient little kitty? What? Don't lose yourself now. Wouldn't want to upset your master. What do you prefer, master, boyfriend, monster, your future husband? I wonder which one suits me more. Then again, part of me doesn't really care. Whatever one suits me will suit me. But what suits me the most is having you by my side. That's all I really care about. You know, Kitty. I, I'll be happy. I won't know what to do with myself once we're free. I'm already super happy holding you, but I guess I'm determined, since we're not out of the hot water yet. I'm so ready to take on the world, if it's for my kitty. I'll take care of you, I promise. You're my beautiful, wonderful kitty, and I refuse to let anyone have you. I refuse to let this world tell us what we can and cannot do until we step foot over those boundaries and even then after I will protect you I can't let myself get too complacent even if your cuddles make me want to we've got some on our side but not everyone and that's what we have to watch out for don't trust anyone but me Kitty, I'll always bury you in my chest like this. I'll always protect you. But we can't relax just yet. We'll go as soon as night falls, tomorrow. For now, I'll get some rest. I promise we're safe here. And if something happens, I'll protect you. As if I'd let anyone hurt my one and only kitty. <laughs> then again, I'd like to see anyone try and be that brave. I'm good at getting away from sticky situations. I wouldn't have survived this long if not then. In fact, I think the only one strong enough to actually kill me would be you, Kitty. <laughs> but you're a special one. You could only ever kill me because I love you. I'd never suspect it. My trust. Maybe I'm more like a dog than a cat. Because I trust you. And if you betray that, well, I guess I... I did my best. I didn't want to live that much without you anyways. Shut up. You don't have to worry. Not unless you're trying to kill me. And if you are, just get it over with while I'm sleeping, then. Easy peasy, right? Well, if you have no intentions of doing it, then what do we have to worry about? Kill me with another lap pillow like this. <laughs> Had pets, too. Isn't there that saying? Kill them with kindness. Why don't you kill me with love? Go ahead. You're doing a pretty good job. I'm kind of impressed, actually. Not bad, kitty. Not bad. Damn, I love you way too much. And I guess that's just how it ends up. You'll always be my ball of yarn.